Customizing your WordPress theme without using a child theme can be like building a sandcastle on the beach. When an update to the theme comes along, it can wipe out all your customizations and modifications to your theme, just like a wave hitting your sandcastle. And we don't want you to lose all your hard work and have you start from scratch. You can preserve all the changes and modifications you've made to your theme by using what's called a child theme. I'll be showing you how to install one of those in today's video. Hey guys, it's Yaz here from Brainstorm Force, back with another WordPress tutorial for you guys. And if you're new to the channel, we're the company behind the most popular WordPress theme out there, Astra. And we create content about our latest product updates, as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you're interested in checking out any of that content, please subscribe down below and turn on notifications. All right, let's jump onto the computer and get started with the tutorial. So here I have my website with the Astra theme installed with one of their premium starter templates. And this template is for a plant shop, as you can see here. If you want to check out Astra, I'll leave a link in the description below. And to create a child theme for your Astra theme website, first you must go to this website here, which I'll leave in the description below. And you'll see here Astra child theme generator. So all we have to do is fill in this form down here. You can simply give it a name as it says here, child theme name. At the moment, just for this video, we're going to leave it as Astra child. You can actually just press generate here and it will generate it using the default settings. But I'll just show you what else is there to fill out. If you click on advanced options, you can see you can also change the child theme version. You can give it any version number you want. You can change the author. You can type in your own name if you want and the URL for that author. So if you have your own website, you can paste that in here. And if you want to give it a little bit of a description, you can enter those that detail in here as well. And down here is a folder name. Usually it's typical to have your theme name, dash, and child. So we'll keep that as is. And if you want to customize your child theme even further, you can even add a screenshot or a graphic in here and that will show up in the themes menu on your WordPress dashboard. And I'm pretty happy with the default settings just for this tutorial. I'm just going to go down here and press generate. As you can see down here, it's already generated our Astra child theme and it's already downloaded onto our local machine. Now we go back into our WordPress dashboard. We can close this window right here. Go back onto our WordPress website, go onto the dashboard and we go down here into appearance. And then we go into themes. And as you can see, I've already got Astra enabled as my current active theme. And what we're going to do now is go into add new. And then we click on upload theme. And right here, we can actually drag and drop this onto here. Or you can even choose file and browse for it if you wish. But now that's all uploaded, we can press install now. And as you can see here, theme is installed successfully. Now we can go and press activate down here. All right, that's all done. As you can see here, now our active theme is the Astra child theme you see here. And we have the original parent Astra theme over here as well. We want to keep this. Don't delete that because the child theme will be working dependently on the main parent Astra theme you see here. So the child theme kind of operates on top of the parent Astra theme and just holds all your configurations and customizations within the child theme here. So please don't delete that one. We need to have the original parent theme for the child theme to work. And that's all you have to do to install your Astra child theme. It's currently active. So now you can proceed to add any new customizations or functionality to the theme. So we can go into theme editor and you can see here that it only shows you the theme files that are in the child theme itself. It doesn't show you all of the files in the parent theme. For example, if I go back and activate the parent theme right here, and if we go back into theme editor, you can see a lot more files are accessible. But once you go back into the child theme and we go to edit, you can only see that certain files are accessible, meaning that the parent theme will still be untouched and you'll only be making changes to the child theme. So whenever Astro comes up with a new update, your parent theme will be the one that's getting the update. Your child theme will be left untouched and it will be intact, holding all the new customizations you've added to your website. And that's how we add a child theme to your WordPress website. Now let's move on to adding a child theme to any themed website, including Astro or anything else you're using. And before we proceed with the rest of the tutorial, I just want to show you that I've removed the Astra child theme we created earlier and I've activated the Astra parent theme as well. Okay, so to create a child theme for any theme you're using, Astra included, I recommend using a plugin and I'll show you which plugin that is. So first we're going to go into our plugins menu here and go to add new. And we're going to search for a plugin called child theme configurator. And the one we're looking for is this first one here, Child Theme Configurator, and we can press Install now. And once installed, you can also press Activate. And now you should be able to see it in your plugins menu. You see it here. And now if you go down into Tools on the left-hand side, and right at the bottom, you'll see Child Themes. 
So what this plugin will do is help you create a child theme for your existing theme. It's really simple and I'll walk you through it. And by default, you can see it says select action, create a new child theme, install a new customizable child theme using an installed theme as a parent. So this is exactly what we're gonna be doing. Our parent theme is a theme that we have installed right now. And we're gonna be creating a child theme to put on top of it so that we can make our changes without having them erased when an update comes through. All right, on the left-hand side, number two, we see select a parent theme. So we'll show you all the themes you currently have installed on your website. As you can see here, I have the default ones as well as Astra up here. I'm gonna click on Astra over here, but you can select whichever theme you're currently working with that you wanna create a child theme for. And once that's done, just go ahead and press analyze here. And after it's done checking it, it will say this theme appears to be okay to use as a child theme. It's good to go. And down here in step number four, it says name the new theme directory. And over here, it's currently Astra-child. So it's gonna be your theme name dash child. Usually I like to keep it the exact same, just like that. And you can leave it as is unless you wanna change it to something more specific. And step number five, it says select where to save the new styles. You can keep that on primary style sheet, just like that. We don't have to touch that. And select parent theme styling handling. We won't touch any of these settings either. We'll just keep them as default. And if I scroll down, yep, we just keep the rest of these default as well. We won't touch any of that. And down here, step number seven, you can actually customize the child theme name, description, author. So if I drop that down, the child theme name, you can change it to whatever you like over here. You can change the theme website. So at the moment it's set to WP Astra because it's the Astra theme we're working with. And the author is of course, Brainstorm Force. You can also include the author's website. So you can change these as you'd like. You can even add theme description, theme tags, and even a version number over here. And for this tutorial, I'll just keep them as is, but feel free to change them as you wish. All right, this setting down here, number eight, is quite important because when you install a child theme, it can sometimes be common to have widgets and other designs on your website shift around and move. So by checking this option, we're telling the child theme configurator to copy all these settings, menus, widgets, and customize the settings from the parent theme into the child theme. So it preserves all those settings for you within the child theme. I'm just gonna go ahead and check that over here, just like that. And after that, we're ready to proceed and create new child theme. And once that's done, we can go into our appearance tab again and themes. And as you can see here, it's already gone ahead and added our new Astro child theme onto our themes menu. And once that's there, we can press activate. And once that's activated, our child theme is good to go. You can see here Astro child, and that's the one that's currently active indicated by this black mark you see here. And here we have the parent theme. And remember, don't delete the parent theme because the child theme completely depends upon the parent theme. The child theme just sits on top of the parent theme and keeps all your customization and settings within the child. And that way, when your parent theme gets an update, all the customizations and changes you've made will be preserved within this child theme you've created. And now you can proceed to make any customizations you wish onto your child theme. And what's really cool about this plugin is once the child theme is created, you can actually go ahead and remove the plugin. So you don't actually have to keep it once you finish creating a child theme. So right here, we can deactivate it and we can also delete it. And if I go back into my parents and themes, you can see that the child theme is still active, the one we just created. And that's how you can create a child theme for your WordPress website, no matter what theme you're using. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about using a child theme on your WordPress website, please let me know in the comments down below. If you got value out of this video, please leave us a like. And before you click away, make sure you subscribe by clicking on our logo over here and check out even more of our WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.